Hello everyone, uh, Snipe Training here. Uh, today is Thursday, April 25th. I'll be going on a recap for today. Um, so, those of you that don't know me, uh, I started this YouTube channel for uh, journaling my day trading uh, adventure and to improve myself uh, for any mistakes I make or just to reflect uh, upon all the trades and why I enter the trades. Um, so, I will also show my P&L and my entries and exits for each uh, trade that I make each day. Um, so if you would like to follow me on my venture, uh, hit the subscribe button. So let's get started here. So the first trade I did was, I think it was, um, so today the small caps, uh, there was only a ARCI. Um, and I was trying to find uh, shorts, but I couldn't locate any with, on my broker. So that one I just uh, left. Um, so I think Microsoft, okay, so Microsoft here, I, I saw a support resistance here at the 129.30 area. Um, and then I was anticipating for this uh, break here uh, on the on the um, one minute. So I think those is uh, cup cup and handle, um, and then this is downtrend. So I went ahead and shorted this break of uh, thirty one twenty nine thirty two. So I've been using uh, stop them in order uh, recently. And it's been helping me increase my winning percentage um, because it won't it won't make me get in before uh, the trigger. So it kind of forces me to let the trade trigger and enter. So it triggered. Um, so what I do is I just click here at one thirty four. It shoots a price here, and then when I hit stop limit short, it puts it over the trigger trigger price with stop limit and then a three cent offset. And that helps me enter the trade pretty quickly um, without um, pulling the trigger. And it also, yeah, uh, take the emotional part of pulling the trigger out of it uh, once you have the right sizing. So here I took this uh, short, um, short here uh, for this uh, lower, lower low. Uh, and then I just took uh, profits. Uh, here and at this lows and then when it popped back up this area when it popped back up here uh, I stopped out um, and that was uh, just a quick $38 winner um, the next trade was MU uh, so MU uh, had this cup and handle uh, had a run cup and handle it broke had a stop trigger there uh, and then Pretty much took profit along the way uh, and then my final target was around this 4360 area and that's where you see this cup and handle on the five minute and then it broke the cup and handle and the five minute uh, 90 ma uh, and then it went ahead and tapped the 15 minute, minute ema and bounced a little bit and then it cracked so i didn't expect expect it to crack the 15 minute so early uh, I would expect it maybe another 30 minutes or so to do another cup and handle here and then maybe another opportunity to uh, short. Um, so that was a $71 winner and you can see that I left um, some money on the table here. Um, also trying to practice just trailing a really small piece just to practice my holding a little bit. Um, so my other trade is NBEV. So NBEV, I think, okay, yeah. So NBEV, I saw it breaking, uh, reversing here. So you can see it broke highs, a little high here, and then it went low. So it kind of like a little head and shoulders. Um, and then I waited until it broke this support at 582, I think. Or yeah, 582. You see, you got this cup and handle, 
I went ahead and short that um, and then actually uh, didn't make the move I want. Uh, so my initial stop here was um, towards, I think above VWAP. Uh, I think it was above 590s or so. Oh yeah, it was a 10 cent risk. Um, and then uh, when it made this, this uh, high, I moved my stop to uh, 588 or so. And then it finally broke it, so it, it had a bigger cup and handle. Um, or you can say it's a, a descending triangle. Um, and then once it broke, I went ahead and took profits around these lows. And then I wanted to stop out when it broke above these highs here. So that ended up being just a small $24 winner. Um, although I was up a little more over here, um, but it ended up uh, retesting VWAP and fading back down after hours. Uh, my other, my biggest trade was QCOM. So QCOM had a, uh, on the daily here you can see there's a little doji, um, and then there was a red day. Um, so it, the doji closed, uh, the low is 85.30. So 85.30 was a key area uh, that I was looking at. Uh, also, I think it had, so my morning short here, I had this 86 mark here uh, during this pre-market consolidation. So I went ahead and shorted this um, just for a quick scalp. Uh, uh, I ended up taking half there and then I had another order at 84.70 right down here and I was just a few pen few pennies away from uh, triggering that and as you can see um, so so QCOM so I have uh, so here uh, I canceled it um, but I had small piece at 8470 um, but it went to a low of 8476 so I ended up stopping out uh, on that one for a small small win there, uh, so I, I was I was up like fifty here, and then uh, bec I only took a thirty dollar win winning after stopping out. Uh, and then later on, I saw I think this trend line or so this trend line here, and then you can combine that with uh, this or, or was it this trend line here? Uh, but I saw a cup and handle forming around here. So I saw it was having a trend reversal uh, and it was uh, also near VWAP. And you can see this cup and handle. Uh, so my favorite strategy to short is pretty much any cup and handles because a cup and handle creates a low here. And then when it breaks this low, it actually will create another low. So potentially another low. So your your you have a lower high. I mean, yeah, lower high forming and a lower low. So usually a cup and handle is a sign of uh, bearish, uh, and I like to take those moves um, w with my wrists off this handle here. Um, so if you have a smaller handle, that would be ideal because your wrist would be tighter. So I end up taking profits around here when I hit the short there, 85.50. Um, and then it ended up pretty dumping really hard. So I took some more profits there, profits here. And then my last one was the 84.70s here. Uh, and then I think it bounced a, a bit and then it, it was trailing down after hours. So that was a $119 winner there. Uh, that last one I did was CPRX. So CPRX on the daily looks pretty good. Um, so I kind of missed that uh, bias. I, just, I usually would avoid tra trading this because it looks like a flag break and then you can add this pull to the breakout and then it might have another leg up. Um, but what I saw was, I think it was the 582 here. Um, 582, uh, and it kind of crack, and then um, it ha it it stopped out a few people here, uh, and then it there was a hundred k bid, um, that just uh, bought it back up, 
Uh, so I stopped when it broke this trend line, and that was like a 24 hour loss. Um, but uh, the context of this trade, I wanted to have actually, yeah. The context is pretty bad because the five minute wasn't extended, the 15 minute it's on the 90 MA. So, and yeah, so this one I should have avoid since the VWAP was so close. There wasn't any meat in this move. Um, but nonetheless, I stopped up uh, for a small loss. Uh, so today I'm up total $228. Um, hopefully bringing back all the losses from the past few days, but oh, okay. So that's it. That's all I have. Uh, all shorts for today and Hopefully there'll be more actions uh, on the small caps. So as always, thanks for uh, watching and don't forget to subscribe, like and comment if you enjoy the content. Thank you, bye bye.